What's up people? This is Fluffy Bunny Viva La Android and today I have the top 10 best apps for you guys. So there's gonna be three apps on my phone and seven apps on my tablet. They're all compatible with tablets and phones. Doesn't matter which one you get them on. So I'm gonna start out with the tablet over here and comment below about my new setup. I hope you guys like it. It's more comfortable because I have a tablet now. I can uh actually hold it and move around so I'm trying this thing where I'm gonna review each app within 30 seconds or less because I know not everyone wants to stay around watch a 10 minute video just for apps the first app is called one click scroll you didn't get much when you click the app there's settings but there isn't much what this app does is basically if you want to scroll all the way down without having to actually scroll you can just click over here and now it's all the way in the bottom if you want to go all the way up you just click this part and now it's all the way up that's all the app does so make sure to check it out the second app is called Looper and this is actually running right now and I have it set up for my left side right here only about this much so if I put my thumb in like this it's gonna show me this and this is my recent apps right here and if you have root you can put back and home button so if you're using a tablet it's better than reaching all the way down here hitting home or back you can just put your finger right here and click back or home and if you go to the plus sign and go like this it's gonna give you uh, recent apps the other ones so you can just keep doing this if you go to the app itself, you get the settings, put which apps you want on the side. The arc, you get to customize it to whatever you want. So let's go back to Instagram. So let's say I just want to go home. Instead of going all the way down here, you know, have to, having to reach my finger. And it does get annoying if you do have a tablet. You just slide your finger and go home like this. So the next app is called Airstream. I'm actually logged in. You have to download a program for this on your computer. I'm logged in right now. Once I go to it right here, it's logging in right here too. So now I'm logged in and I can go through whatever I want through my computer and I don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi network as long as I'm logged into the same user that's on the program on my computer wherever I am at my friend's house or anything, I just need to be connected to the internet and then I can go to whatever I want on my computer so right now I can go in my hard drive look through everything and I can even go to uh, whatever is connected to my computer so something like a USB stick or anything so this is a USB stick right here that I just sticked in you can take it and then you can look through everything that's on the USB stick you can download movies and put them on your computer or USB stick and then just put it on your computer get this app and you don't have to waste your memory on your device you can just stream it off your computer so right now I'll click this right now I'm watching Thor the new one and it's not even on my device it's on my computer in HD this is awesome I'm not even wasting my memory on my device anymore I don't have to worry about downloading movies on here I can just download them to my computer and watch them here I can even go through my hard drive and look at old pictures and show friends and family on my tablet without the pictures actually having to be on my tablet I can just go through my hard drive so that's a really really useful app one of my favorites make sure to check it out for yourself the next app is called copy this is a personal hard drive wherever you go you get 15 gigabytes of free space I use 50 megabytes out of 15 gigabytes and you can download this on all your devices and you can share pictures or whatever you want through your devices I want to get a folder full of pictures from this device to my other device Android device I can upload it to this get the same app on my other device and then just download it so I uploaded these images on here you see it's really quick and you can also put APKs so if you ever download an APK through Google or anything you can just put it over here so I got Flappy Bird over here and then it downloads and then right away it knows it's an APK so it tells you do you want to install this APK it's a cool way to share your files so let's say I do want to share the APK of Flappy Bird I can highlight it then I can go to share and I can share it to whatever app I want and then in the bottom right here it says do you want to make it secure so no one can get their hands on it unless they verify who they are so I can make it make it secure the person that I send it to they have to verify by email that person just can't give it to anyone they have to verify who they are for them to look at the file so make sure to check this app out the next app we have is called lightning and it's a browser it's called lightning browser for a reason it's skin down to where it's only a browser so if you get dolphin browser or chrome you know those applications are huge they're like 50 megabytes they have all these extra features that most people don't even use so this browser is called lightning browser you see it's really quick and fluid and it's just skinned down to just a browser and that's it no extra features no gestures no nothing just a browser and it works good so you get new tabs right here as much tabs as you want see it's really really quick and then I can just X them out right here. So on another browser you would have to kind of wait like a second for the tab to open. You get options right here like uh, other tabs, history and all that. Settings, you can go into settings. There's not much to this browser but it's really quick so I'll go to YouTube right here to show you how quick it is. So YouTube, I'll take it with lightning. 
really quick. Make sure you check this inner browser out. It's way, way more useful than Google or Dolphin browser if you do use those because it's just inner browser. This, you need inner browser just for inner browsing. You don't need all those extra features. So make sure you check this app out for yourself. The next app we have is called Instructables. If you're ever bored or you want to make something, this is the perfect app for you. So it is a how-to app to show you what, whatever you want to make, any cool project they have on here. So you can go by categories with what you like to work with. So you got workshop, you got outside, play, and I'll take technology because I like technology. And then it's going to give me all these projects step by step on how to do. So I'll take one for an example, like I'll take this. It's a $30 IKEA camera slider. These go for hundreds usually. And you know, they're going to show you how to do it for $30. All the supplies will be found on IKEA. So you go down, it tells you what you need. It shows you all the supplies on the website itself. So you guys can see that. It shows you a screenshot of what you need and then a link to all of them telling you the price as well. And it's actually gonna be under $30, it's 28. And then you go down and get picture by picture on how to do these. So really awesome app. Make sure to check it out for yourself. Next app we have is called Muzzy. And this is actually a live wallpaper app. So you see it, you know, in the back, that's what the wallpaper is gonna be. I'll click activate right here. And it's a picture right now. I can go into the settings and I can actually download add-ons for this. So right now I have an add-on for Reddit and I can get pictures from Reddit and make it my wallpaper and this app changes your wallpaper every however long you want so you can change it from a minute all the way up to like five hours however long you want and I'll just choose featured art you can go into the settings right here go into advanced and you can change the blur amount for the picture in the back so I can change it to this much and you see it gets blurred out then I'll take done and set as wallpaper I'll go back home and you guys see now that this is my wallpaper and in a half an hour it's gonna automatically change and I have it where whenever the wallpaper changes it gives me a notification over here it tells me the name of the wallpaper and if I click it it'll take me straight to the wallpaper and I can download it if I like it and now let's go over to my phone for the next three apps all right so the eighth app we have over here is called type to launch and you can keep this over here in the bottom wherever you like so i'll keep it right here to show you guys how it's useful and let's say you want to launch an app right away i can do this and click this and then from here i can type whatever app i want like youtube and click it i can get youtube that quick go home click it and then the keyboard pops up again type whatever you want and you're good to go nothing much to the app that's all it does so make sure you check this app out for yourself next app we have is called sliding explorer and if you use file explorers on your phone tablet this isn't really different from all the others except it just looks beautiful the app design the icons the colors and I don't know if this is just for KitKat, I'm pretty sure it's only for KitKat. It changes my notification bar color to blue fading into black. So I really like that too. And you can swipe over from the left, right away go to your internal memory or your external SD card. So I can go into here and it's really fluid. Just a regular file explorer except it looks, you know, really neat, beautiful. The next app we have is called Sensor Sense. This is a cool little app that actually lets you see what all your senses on your phone are doing at the moment. Yours might not have as much as mine. The S4 has a lot of sensors. So if you have another phone, yours might have less or more. And I'll take the location sensor. Now your location one tells you your exact longitude and latitude. And I'm not going to show that because I'll pinpoint and show you where I live. <laughs> temperature, so it shows you the temperature with this one. So the S4 actually can tell you the weather, but they don't have a dedicated app for that. So this is pretty cool that it tells you the weather is and you can look through all these so a gyroscope gives you a little graph and if I shake my phone it should change it cool little app to play around with so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these top 10 apps for you guys and please comment below what you guys think of my new setup and the 30 second reviews hopefully it's really quick and it doesn't take much to go to the next app and it's a bother for 10 minute videos so make sure to comment below make sure to drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video if you got an android make sure to subscribe down below share this with your friends who have android and like always android for life peace